Everybody out there on the interwebs, uh, this is I think day five or something like that of the Jason Carr digital experiment live from the newsroom. We've done it upstairs in the Live in the D conference room. It's sort of a video podcast with Jamie, the producing team for Live in the D, that's Jay and Tammy. Um, it's flowing really well and we're working out the uh, kinks, the bugs, uh, the audio issues. Although today, if you were watching, if you went to my uh, Facebook page, at Jason Carr TV on Facebook, you will see that we did an entire show um, thinking that we were plugged in from the audio board to the phone and we weren't. So we we're holding microphones and there was absolutely no reason for us to be holding mics. So uh, on that note, let's bring in Jay because okay. um, let's widen out the camera shot, John, so we can get Jay in here. Widen it out. Yeah, zoom out you as it were. really need to zoom out to fit me in. Okay, so um, okay. Jay brought up a topic and it sort of mushroomed from there. Everybody has an opinion on this. Do you let your, say, elementary age child if you're out to dinner, dinner as a family yep. at a nice restaurant, or even you know, or just a, rest just yeah, a restaurant, anywhere, a middle anywhere, class yeah. feeding trough, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, do you let the kid have the smartphone, the Android, the iPhone, and just turn them loose so they'll stay busy while you're waiting for the so food? And, eating, yeah. yeah. So well, your, your was, take no, is what? It was. Here's my thing. Well, and it's you know we kind of talked about like you have this dad guilt, you have this parent guilt. You know that everybody is so quick to judge parents and what they're doing. That it, so you know last night I was out to dinner. And it was a little bit later, and both the kids ended up, you know, my wife and uh, my on my phone. And I was just, uh, I was sitting there, and all of a sudden I'm looking around, I'm just like, oh man, should I really be doing this, you know? And my take was, in the end, I know that it was late, I knew that they were kind of a little on edge. It's, e it's I shouldn't say easy, it's more comfortable for them to be kind of sure. plugged in. It is 2016. My wife, it, well, exactly, my wife, and, you know, my wife and I can talk about, you know, stuff that we were dealing with at the house. And then not only that, but I also feel like, for everybody else around us, for the people that are like next to us or a booth over, if I know that my kid's like potentially gonna have a meltdown or they're like on that edge, right? Let, I mean, I say go ahead and let let them jump on, let them plug in. Can we show the graphic again, uh, John, that you just had up there? Mm. Nice work on turning that around. Yeah, exactly. exactly, no notice whatsoever. <laughs> he didn't even know that we were gonna lead off this way. Well, there you go. Um, but yeah, that could be anybody's daughter. I mean, my daughter is five and a half. She gets plenty of, um, you know, FaceTime, I guess, if you will, with with yeah. uh, devices, my, my wife's phone, my phone, but it's educational. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean it's, mm -hmm. for the most part, I suppose there's also the Facebook, or I'm sorry, Facebook, YouTube videos mm -hmm. with the unboxing and the Disney card yeah. toy collector yes. and all that yes. nonsense. Yes. Yes. Ugh, that voice is going to be stuck in my and head the, for like, years. The <laughs> but I did like an informal poll. I walked around and I talked to uh, various uh, folks here in the newsroom on that? air types, and, and really I got a, a really good cross-section of people that um, on the one hand absolutely not and I mm -hmm. said well do you judge people who do and mm -hmm. she said not really yeah and then uh, where did it go one of our other co-workers was like if she's about to melt down yeah he's like here yeah exactly here well and that it's you just, so I don't know I think that you draw a line you don't you don't want to let them do it all the time but I mm -hmm. don't necessarily think that you know to say that oh you know they can never do it I mean there's got to be some give and take and as parents we just judge the situation and do the best we can you know? uh, I was telling Jay upstairs, when I say upstairs, live in the day is upstairs, the newsroom is downstairs. Um, we have an iPad that we've had since my daughter was a baby, and I didn't realize, I mean, it filled up. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no more memory left. Mm -hmm. And I thought that maybe it had been six, eight, nine months since it filled up. Mm -hmm. Turned out, when I updated it the other day, three years. Mm -hmm. It's been three years since the, my daughter's been walking around with that. I, I, no, the thing is, she's got access to my phone, mm -hmm. my old phone, and my wife's phone. So it's not like she doesn't have she's a wedding. She's got something there, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the, the fact that it's been three years since we used that iPad, I felt bad at first, and then I thought, no, that's, that's, not, bad. that's yeah. not bad at all that she exactly. hasn't had an iPad for three years. Exactly. Running around the house playing Pokemon Go or something. <laughs> I mean, which right. she can do now if she wanted to, right? What are your thoughts, Local 4 Nation? We want to hear from you. The Facebook Live is fired up and going right now. The WDIV Local 4. Click on Detroit Facebook page. If you haven't been there and liked it, please do that. Also, go to the Live in the D page for Jay's purposes. That's please. at 4, the number 4, Live in the D, and like the Live in the D page and uh, we will keep this digital conversation yeah. going. Let's talk about parental guilt. It's a pat. I mean, it's a passionate topic. I, I, every moment I have like parental guilt because I'm thinking this is a moment I could be spending with yeah. my daughter that when, oh, one day there. when she's older and yeah. I'm like, oh, I wish I could go back well, when she see, was four and, or five and years old. And then old. I also brought up, a, you know, I brought up when we were in the office that 
there's also the part where you do feel guilty, but then you do have to take it from the kid's perspective, where the kids are probably happy thinking, oh, dad's letting me enjoy this time on the phone or whatever. What do you think so, about that? You know, post in the comments, uh, either here on the live stream or on social media. So we're going to cut Jay loose and cut his mic off. Thank you, Jay. See you. And uh, go on to the next graphic when uh, you're ready, John, and we can talk some more about, uh, well, Twitter's trending for today. What do we have for uh, the folks watching? They've got Lockheed Gate. Lock we we're calling this Watergate sort of on the, on the uh, morning show, but apparently it's now called Lockheed Gate uh, is the hashtag on Twitter. Um, what do you make of this? Uh, John, do, what, do you have any take on well, personally, uh, I think we're producer overusing John? Gate. Uh, what's that? I think we're using too many gates. Too many gates? Too well, many do you, gates. Whose version of this story do you believe? Do you think the truth is out there, X-Files? Uh, I, can't, I can't imagine these, these athletes lying about this for any reason. So you think that it's all legit? And did, I raised the, the, the specter, the possibility on the morning show this morning on Local 4 uh, that, that this might be a little face-saving on their part. They're a little bit embarrassed about this security gap, if you will, or the fact that this happened. So pulling them off the plane and, and the whole thing, um, possible that they're just trying to save face. When I say there, I mean Brazil. I don't know. We'll see how this this plays out. How is it looking on Twitter? What are people saying? Do they support yeah, him? Or people are basically supporting them. Still supporting yeah. Lochte? Yeah. And uh, he hasn't even made the derp face yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, what's next? Okay. Uh, well, I've got pictures of them. I've got. Oh, there, there you there's go. Ryan. There, there's Lochte right there, pointing to his medal. And with, uh, with the hair. Here is. Uh, oh, and then, Jack yeah, Conner these are the two that got our pulled off getting the pulled off the, off the plane. plane. Okay, I got yeah. you. Right. We just fell behind there because I got you talking conversation. So today we've got a Stroh's launch party. They're going to be brewing beer again in Detroit, and uh, tonight at 5:30 at De Brew Detroit, uh, Abbott and Sixth Streets, they're going to be having a launch party. So Stroh's beer. Tonight, you're too young to have had Stroh's in its original form. Yes. Uh, but it is coming back. I mean, if you were a child of the 70s, 60s, 70s, whatever, um, you remember you're, you'd go over to like a house party or a backyard party and there would be like Blatt's, Pabst, Stroh's, Ham's, Schlitz, uh, and any that I'm uh, forgetting, uh, Old Milwaukee, um, Miller, the champagne of beers. Uh, this is a classic brand that actually also uh, is attached to ice cream. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Stroh's beer coming back, and you said a launch party? It's launch a party public tonight. event or a private uh, event? It's, it seems like it's a public event from what I'm reading. Hmm. Yeah. What did, I mean, being your age, 27? 20, so I, yeah, I'll be uh, maybe st stopping by there tonight. You and your friends, do, do, does the label mean anything to you? Uh, other than it's oh funny old timey kind of ironic old it's, Stroh's. It's a Detroit brand as far as we're concerned. I mean, there's uh, right off the freeway there's Stroh's Curve. I only know it that because you used to be able to see the factory right. from there, but I've okay. never seen that. What about all you out there? Do you care that Stroh's is coming back? Are you good with all the beer choices? The the inundation of craft breweries and beers and labels that have happened. Uh, certain beers only coming out certain time of the year. Summer IPA, that sort of thing. Here comes something really, really old school, the Strohs. Do you even care? Um, let us know. Uh, hit us up on Twitter uh, or uh, you know, on the Local Floor Facebook page. Uh, Ian, do you want to come give your perspective on the whole phone thing? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, come around this way so you don't walk. So let's go on to the next graphic while we're waiting for Ian, John. What do we have? What is the Farmer's Almanac the far Well, Paul Gross, uh, local form meteorologist, he gave us a detailed article this week about uh, the old Farmer's Almanac winter forecast, which just came out this month. And? And, uh, well, let's just say he's not for it. He, uh, he disagrees strongly with the Farmer's Almanac. Forecast. Oh, no, come on. Paul Gross has a strong opinion about something? He's got a strong opinion about this one. And... Uh, but Anyways, he's, he's basically saying that it's an outdated theory, and he's got a full article on Click on Detroit today, so uh, if you've got a moment, take a quick look at it. While you're looking over there, I'm, I'm actually holding up the Farmer's Almanac <laughs> on the graphic. Yeah. Um, I can't believe this thing is still around. It's like, it just keeps going and going and going. I, I, I don't know who picks them up, probably farmers. Are we ready for, uh, you for said winter? a heavy winter, or no? I haven't actually read his article yet. Uh, I just know that he Paul Gross is, it. has weighed in on the <laughs> Farmer's Almanac. Okay, uh, next on the docket, sir. Shipwreck. 
the oldest, one of the oldest shipwrecks in the Great Lakes has been found, Sloop Washington, also known as the Lady Washington, set sail from Kingston, Ontario, November 6, 1803, and sank during a gale in Lake Ontario and was never seen again until now. A group of searchers found the ship this summer, and uh, Ken, uh, TV's Ken, and Dave TV's put Ken? together a good article as well. So All right. another good, That's on uh, click good on? read. That's on click on. Okay, so how do we search for that on? There we, we see the graphic. That hasn't been seen since 1803, you since said? 1803, since it left Kingston. Yep. Amazing. All right, and we find that where on click on? That's going to be on the homepage. On the homepage. Okay, so uh, Ken and David, soon to be father David, uh, on Halloween, expecting his first child, so uh, we'll be getting uh, oh, giving more parental advice to him as we uh, continue the Jason Card digital experiment. Um, make sure you check that out. I'm fascinated by shipwrecks. Oh yeah, absolutely fascinated. I, I have no desire to scuba dive and get scuba out of dive. That kind of going into the deep water freaks me out, but the idea of shipwrecks. There was a movie in 1980 called Raise the Titanic, a really bad B movie, and I was all in. I loved the whole idea of the Titanic and raising it and everything else. Of course, we know it ended up not being possible, but we Ballard found it, I think, six years later. So, um, and then, of course, the movie and all that. But I love the idea of shipwrecks. Cole Thorpe, are you uh, otherwise indisposed? Can you yeah. come over? Sure, sure. Jason's going to sit down. What happened to that mic? There's a mic right there. All right, here comes the stagehand Ian. Ian is Ian Ian, engineering. Ian, ah, since Hi, we're Jason, live, he's got to he's got to kind of suck it up. <laughs> Ian, thank you. Because and I'll have some Hi, eggs Jason, and toast. Hi, Jason. How are you? A lightly toasted bagel with some eggs, please. Give me a, give me your take as a dad. Um, you had an interesting. We talked before mm -hmm. we went live we talked. about um, the whole phone thing, and you said that you saw once upon a time a kid with the. It's uh, it's a few different things. I got it, buddy. A few different things. Um, like when we go out to dinner, it would always be put the devices away, mm -hmm. put everything down. You know, when kid, it depends on what age they are too. I mean, if they can uh, use a tablet or a phone to play a game while we're talking before the food gets there. You know, as parents, we've all been there. You're just trying to keep them happy and occupied until we get them fed. Blah blah blah. Right. Well, once they hit a certain age. It was no devices. You're old enough to talk to grandma and grandpa or talk, and we can, you know, be a family at this thing. But yeah, I saw, and you were asking me, you go, do you judge people who do that? And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> Sometimes. You're honest. I mean, uh, if a kid's behaving, you know, you don't think twice, but I was watching a kid one time, and it was he was older, I want to say 11, 12, or whatever, and the whole family was there. He had these big headphones on, and he's clearly playing a game like this. And he's doing this, and I'm like... And everybody else is having a normal adult yeah. conversation, like family time. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, some kids have behavioral problems, you know. You, you, so you don't know everybody's you don't situation. Know everybody's you situation. don't know. So I just kind of, I brushed it up, but then um, he wasn't. And he was just a, a normal kid. That, And then he started lashing out at the parents when they made him <laughs> take the headphones off. I want my headphones on. And he just started throwing a fit, and I thought, well, that's a... And then you turned into Judgy McJudgerson. Well, and then I thought, well, you never know. You never know. You've got to walk a mile in somebody's shoes. That was Rhonda Walker's hair. Did you see that? Right underneath there. That was crazy. She, she somehow managed to squeeze right past her. Have we not told Rhonda there's four other ways to get to her office? There's like every... <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so He's yeah. talking about you. He's talking smack. How about your walkthrough? Step on in. Come on, join the conversation. What are you guys talking about? We were talking about your dress oh. and just fashion in general. I feel like I want to be between the two Jasons. There you go, right there. See? <laughs> Do you judge people in a restaurant if you see them with the kid, the kids on the phone, and just come clearly in his own world or her own world, and the, the adults are talking and the kids over here? Like, Do you judge? What do you think when you see that? No, you know what I think? When I'm dining out, I just kind of pay attention to the people that I'm with. Yeah. And I don't really focus too much on the other people in the restaurant, so I can't really recall a time where I'm, you know, paying attention to them and judging, oh, I can't believe, you know, I'm just kind of into Unless the people the I'm dining with. causing a problem or something, and then all and of a sudden you can't like, hear it. <laughs> Maybe I don't go to restaurants that have a lot of kids. I don't have any, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe most of the places I go, it's, you know, kid free. maybe more adult, right. adult beverage and adults. 
dining together. Let's be honest. Hoity toity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Otave vie. They don't, they don't allow the kids in my Otave vie. <laughs> Miss Walker, your table is ready. Let's <laughs> That's going to do it for the Jason Carr Digital Experiment for today. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having oh, me. Oh, one so big happy family. family. I love it. <laughs> Somebody back some more. <laughs> it's mm. not me. <laughs> Did you guys do voice impressions and stuff? Mm -hmm. I, I just stepped I in for the last minute. John's oh. wedding and scene. <laughs> well, before we leave, uh, this is something I'm instituting. Uh oh. Live we stream, on? we're on the internet. There's got to be a cat tax. Oh, all right. <laughs> right. You've got to get your local cat tax. So here we go. And, yeah, uh, and you, you can't end until you've seen the cat. All right. Exactly. Whose cat is that? Uh, it's not my cat. I just found it. Oh. Found it on so are we off or are we on? We're, we're on still. Oh, we're still oh. on? We're still on. Until he shuts us off. Are you shutting us off? I don't know. Are you, are we yeah, done? we're done. All right. Uh, well, the boss stay classy, has shut Detroit. it down. <laughs>